Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jihan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Obviously, due to the title of this video and the thumbnail, you know I'm going to dye my eyebrows. I did a video like this quite a while ago, I don't remember, and I thought I would do an updated version. I mentioned in my uh, Best of the Zon video the brow tint that I really like, so I thought we could do it together. Maybe you're looking for a brow tint, or maybe you're looking for how to do it, or maybe you just want to see if I mess this up. Either way, I appreciate hanging out with me today. If you're not subscribed already, you could do that now. I upload several videos every week. If you click on the little bell and choose all, YouTube will notify you when I upload a new one, and then you can choose to watch it or not. It's totally up to you. No pressure. Either way, I appreciate you. Also, you might notice my balloons in the background, thanks entirely to you amazing humans. I have reached 500 subscribers on the YouTubes, which is mind blowing to me. I never imagined I'd even reach 100. And it took a long time to get there. Um, but yeah, when you watch and like and comment, it tells YouTubes that I'm doing some good stuff over here and that maybe other people would enjoy it too. So I really appreciate you. Like how amazing is this? All right, so I'm gonna stop prattling on about hitting 500, sheesh man, all fancy now, and dye my brows. I'll show you what is in this little kit. Hopefully not dump it everywhere. So there's a black and a brown, or black and a brown, brow tint. There's the activator and it comes with this little mixing tray and a little spoolie with a brush on the end. If you're new to dyeing your brows, you should definitely do a patch test first. I don't always, uh, but I did with this one because it's a bit different and I wasn't sure. And I had just watched Tina, the fancy face, do her brows and she had a massive reaction and I got a feared. So I did and I was fine. So I'm going to mix this up. The other one I had was just brown. You could leave it on longer and it would get darker and you can with this as well, but you can also make it more black or more brown depending on what you want your brows to look like. I like my brows to be darker and I'm covering up a few grays. So yeah, let me get this mixed and I'll show you and then we'll slap it in my brows. Okay, so I zoomed you in so you can see up close and personal uh, how I do this. I did a pump of black, a pump of brown and equal amounts of the developer. It's nice and thick, super easy. Also, before I start, I always grab a Q-tip or a cotton bud and just in case things get a little bit crazy, I have my brow dyeing bamboo paper towel. It's been stained from previous brow jobs. And I think that's everything. I did shave my face this morning and plucked my eyebrows, did all the things. So I was like, yeah, I should, I should dye my brows today. So I'm just gonna take the little brush end and I'm going to thoroughly mix all of those together. It just says use equal amounts and blend thoroughly until it forms a paste. So that's what I'm doing. I can follow destructions. Yep. All right, it's all mixed up and doesn't look like much at the moment, but it will. So I'm gonna brush my brows down and kind of use the tip of the brush as like a liner almost. And just keep adding more. You want to make sure that the skin under your brows and your brow hairs are thoroughly coated. So I like to go back and forth and just add what feels like the right amount. All right, I'm gonna do my other brow and then I'll show you what they look like and we'll start the timer. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes, please. 15 minutes, starting now. 
Okay, I'm gonna go in with my little cotton bud and just clean up any areas that look like things might have gotten a little out of hand. Do we think that's pretty good? I do think because my brows are splotchy by making sure it gets on my skin, it gives the illusion of thicker brows. And the skin staining doesn't last a very long time, but it gives me a few days. And I used most of what I squeezed out. There's a little bit of waste, which is kind of a bummer, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to let this sit. Oh, well, you know what? I think this tail needs a little more. Whoop. Okay. Where's my cotton bud? <laughs> All right, here's hoping for the best. I'm going to go fiddle fart around for the next probably 12 minutes, and then I'll come back and show you how I wash this off. You should bear in mind, I'm not a professional, obviously. I am a middle-aged woman who just likes to pretend she knows what she's doing. Actually, I've been doing this for a lot of years, so like, I'm not a professional, but not my first rodeo. So, um, but yeah, this is just me following the destructions on the packaging. If you're not sure, don't do it. And you know, watch other people because I might be doing it all wrong for you. All right, I'll be back when this is done cooking. It's probably not the right word, developing. How about that? We'll go with developing. Okay, there is four minutes left on the timer, but I think I need to take this off. They are looking well and truly cooked. So again, just with my wet paper towel, I'm going to very gently just brush off or wash off, not wash. I really am just brushing off the excess product. Generally speaking, on days when I do my brows, I don't put on a boatload of makeup because you really don't want to wash your eyebrows because it will remove most of the dye. I think I might have panicked for nothing. They're not that dark. You know what? I'm going to go. I'm just going to put some more back on. I didn't get rid of my little palette O product. I am just using my usual <laughs> spoolie because I put the other one away. I think I'm just going to leave it for the additional four minutes. I panicked for nothing. Okay. So <laughs> I'll be back in four minutes. Okay, time is officially up. I'm going to remove this brow first. And again, really just taking off the excess product. As far as like dye jobs go, this one is pretty simple. It does ruin the paper towel, <laughs> but I just keep it and I keep it with my brow dyeing kit and just use it when I dye my eyebrows. Works out. Got a little on my forehead. There we go. Pretty easy. I won't have to use as much brow products for a couple whiles. And you know, if nothing else, it's fun to take a few minutes and just do a thing for my own self. 
So let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you dye your brows? Would you ever? Just not for you. Either way, we can chat about it. I just love chatting with you. Hopefully you like this video though. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.